My name is Nature Correal. I'm a researcher at Motorola Labs working on cognitive radio. And I will be telling, talking to you about the experimental cognitive radio system that we are developing. Our experimental cognitive radio system is based on a software-defined radio platform that we have been developing, which has a custom RFIC that works from 100 megahertz to currently 2.5 gigahertz. This uh, SDR platform also has a FPGA, a power PC, and we have used it to implement a series of enablers for cognitive radio. Our system at uh, the physical layer has a flexible <coughs> OFDM5 that we use to do some wafer sculpting and be able to transmit around interference. We also implemented a spectrum monitoring module that looks at the spectrum and enables the units to identify white space for them to communicate. In addition, we have a, a MAC layer that enable the un, enables the units to rendezvous with one another and establish and maintain continuous communications. So we're using our demonstration units to set up a live video feed in the frequencies of interest for that span, that those being in the 2 to 2.1 gigahertz and in the 2.2 to 2.3 gigahertz. Uh, so our units come up, go through the discovery process where they rendezvous with one another. In the interim, they're also scanning, looking at the frequency environment and deciding on what frequencies are available for them to communicate. And by uh, exchanging information, they decide which ones their, are their communication channels and which ones are their backup channels should communication or interference um, require them to switch to a different frequency. So the, the devices come up, they find each other, they begin communicating, we have the video link, they do spectral sensing, and uh, data is transferred, packetized data is transferred over, over the air, and should that interfere come in band, these devices are going to trans, um, jump to their backup channels to continue communications. All the while, they are doing spectrum sensing and identifying spectral opportunities to switch to their channel be uh, disrupted. Here is our SDR platform. It has a, an Ethernet port that we're currently connecting to a computer and feed it live video. Now at the output, we have RF outputs that are going into an up converter that brings it, brings it, brings it from an RF frequency of um, 800 megahertz to the dice band frequencies. If you recall, I mentioned our um, platform operates all the way up to 2.5 gigahertz. However, the current version of the RFIC that we have in this platform um, goes only to 1.6. So uh, the new generation is going to 2.5 gigahertz, and therefore use of these up converter for boxes won't be needed in future demos. Here, you're seeing just a set of basic dipoles. And if you're wondering what these plastic uh, stubs are here for, they're just for protection to guarantee that we don't break our, uh, our dipoles and lose our antenna. So it's only a mechanical um, add-on to the antenna. So in our demonstration, we're using a live video feed that's being transmitted from one unit to another. And the received, the received data is being shown on this computer screen. In addition, the results of our spectrum sensing are being displayed in this graphical user interface that's connected to the, one of the units via Ethernet port. Here what we see is the whole band and the spectrum occupancy as it's dynamically sensed by our units. So what we basically we're demonstrating is units coming up, rendezvousing with one another, to enable transmission of a live video feed in a dynamic environment. Thank you very much.